Northwest Bus Sales. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2014 Ford Star Trans. Now this is a obviously an ADA accessible shuttle bus. Uh, it is uh, a narrow body on top of that, which means it's a little narrower, a little easy to drive. Um, yeah, 2014, I'm excited to show it to you. Let's check it out. So uh, first things first is powered by the Ford uh, Triton 5.4 liter V8 gasoline engine. Of course, a company with a automatic transmission. We got Eric behind the camera doing a stellar job today. And uh, he's gonna show you the uh, front passenger side tire here. And a little pan of the undercarriage as well. All right, so we're gonna come inside first. So first things first, we have a manually operated bifold passenger entry door. Some people preferred the manual door. Uh, not that the door motors do go out when it's electrically operated, but it's just nice to know that pretty much never gonna have anything wrong happen with this thing. Uh, we got your uh, grab rail coming on inside. And we're gonna take a seat here. All right, so uh, this is, uh, Obviously your standard kind of Ford uh, OEM dashboard here. Uh, we got your uh, 187,000 miles on this baby. Uh, down here we got cruise control. Down here, over here a uh, OEM AM FM stereo. It does have a little aux input if you wanna plug in your phone. You got your front climate controls here, just like that. And then um, down here we have your dome lights, heat, three, three position switch, low, off and high, turn on and off the wheelchair lift, and then your rear air conditioning controls, temperature and fan speed. Uh, one thing I want to point out, this thing's got a pretty dang cool driver's seat. Uh, USSC, one of the top of the line driver's seats out there, you can put in a shuttle bus, definitely a bigger upgrade from the, uh, the normal Ford OEM. Uh, we got the manual door here that locks just like that, pretty cool. All right, so uh, in the back here, so this is a kind of an interesting four plane. This is a four passenger and two wheelchair, okay? So uh, basically you can obviously have one wheelchair there, one wheelchair there, and a total of four passengers. Now I kind of want to paint the picture of this bus. We, uh, we do have a lot of people looking at this for conversion, um, and I actually have the dimensions here that I can share with you. Um, the, uh, the interior length from the back of the driver's seat to the back wall, that is 13 feet. So you got 13 feet of length to work around with if you're looking for something to convert. Uh, the interior width from wall to wall is about six feet nine inches. And the interior height is six feet four inches. Um, this, this is a pretty cool floor plan. I mean, if you want something a little bit bigger than a van, you don't want that sliding door. You want people to be able to walk in with a door, but you know, maybe you have a grandma on a wheelchair if you're picking up some uh, ADA accessible people for church. Uh, this would be a perfect floor plan like that. Very easy to drive, a lot smaller bus. Still hold, hold four people, but also ADA accessible. So pretty cool. Um, yeah, that pretty much does it for the inside. I'm gonna come check out the outside. All right, so uh, this is equipped with a uh, Braun Century Series lift. If you want to go up, you just press up, just like that. And there's only four buttons on it, up, down, fold, and unfold. So very easy to use. And once it's done with that uh, cycle, you'll hear it shut off, and you can uh, hold down the fold button, and it'll fold it right in. Pretty dang cool. Oh. Uh, Eric's going to show you the uh, uh, rear passenger side duels. As well as a little pan of the undercarriage as well. Then uh, in here we have a, a battery tray. 
slide out batteries. Got some in there. So they have been relocated to the rear here. There's not one under the hood. You probably saw that earlier. So they have been relocated underneath there. As far as the body, man, it's in good shape. Uh, again, the infirmities on this are very small. There's little tiny chips and little scratches here and there, but over and above all, body straight going all the way down. Uh, we got a Romeo rim bumper as a rear impact absorbing bumper. Basically kind of minimizes damage if someone hits you from the rear. So kind of nice. Uh, we do have a rear uh, emergency exit door. This is also helpful if you are uh, uh, strapping someone in from, from behind. You don't have to reach around them and you can kind of, you know, do the straps from back here. So it's also very helpful. Uh, usually these corners are kind of where you'll see the most damage on uh, shuttle buses and uh, they look pretty dang good going all the way up. You know, usually people backing into stuff don't have a whole lot of evidence of that there. Looks like we've got a little bit of a silicone job there, some touch-up stuff. But over and above all, looks pretty dang good going down. Eric's gonna show you underneath. All right. So uh, coming down on this side, you know, all the windows, your standard tour style windows, got the upper sliders up top. Uh, again, this side looks great. Little tiny, little tiny stuff. It's almost not even, it's almost useless to point it out, but little tiny little scratches here and there. It also looks great on the sides, a little bit of some action here. But uh, Eric's gonna show you the rear uh, driver's side duels. And uh, coming on to the front, here's the front driver's side tire. You also notice these all have the uh, stainless steel wheel covers, and those just kind of make it shine a little more. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses in our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099. Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you very much for watching.